Ahmet Musin Tuzer is the imam in the Turkish village of Pinarbazi. He's calling the locals to Friday prayers. If it were up to Turkey's Directorate of Religious Affairs, the Diyanet, Tuzer would no longer be allowed to lead prayers in the village's small mosque. He's been suspended without pay, but since a new imam hasn't been assigned to the village so far, Tuzer continues to conduct services. Authorities in the capital Ankara say that his behavior is un-Islamic. If those who judge me would only try to understand me a little and invite me to Ankara to familiarize themselves with my views and philosophy, my beliefs, my goals, my visions, if only they try to understand me, none of this would have happened. But unfortunately, this is the work of people who do not understand justice and truth, the real universality of Islam and its glory. Tusser is a fan of Anadolu rock music. That has made him famous across the country as the rocking imam. That hasn't gone down well with the religious authorities, however, who are also the employers of Turkey's Muslim preachers. But Tusser refuses to be sidelined. My grandfather was a Quran teacher, and my father was an imam, so I've been confronted with religious tones since I was a child. My brothers and I were the first people in Turkey to release an album with prayers put to music. Islamic sounds, verses from the Quran, prayers and hymns have been a part of me since childhood. The first time the Dianet sent an inspector to question Tusser was after he performed a concert five years ago in the nearby coastal town of Kas. Then, after a concert in spring 2018, he was suspended. He then launched an appeal. While he continues to rehearse, Tusser says he won't actually perform concerts while the case is pending. Many in Kas are frustrated with the religious authorities' conduct and say there's no justification for Tusser's suspension. If the imam does his job properly, where's the problem? And he does do his job, and music is his hobby. He also could have had scuba diving as a hobby, but because he's an imam, he also has a strong voice, and he uses it. In my opinion, the ideology that has been popular in Turkey for the past 16 or 17 years has nothing to do with true Islam. It puts pressure on people. But so far, all seems well in Tusser's village, Pinarbazi, even if the rocking imam knows he also has a lot of adversaries in Turkey. People who think that their idea of faith is the only true one act very negatively towards me. In other words, it's particularly the extremists who keep threatening me, as sad as it may be to say. Nevertheless, Tusser wants to continue being both an imam and a musician, and hopes the court won't be too hard on him. Should the appeal against his suspension be rejected, Tusser will no longer be able to call the villagers to prayer in the local mosque. <laughs>